Yes. Just got to keep jerking. Hi, I'm Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Kelly J. And I'm here today to tell you just some little subtle changes I make to my jerk baits. Uh, I get a lot of questions about adding split rings, hook sizes, different modifications I make. And it's really pretty simple. I keep it kind of basic. I don't add snap rings or anything like that or belly weights. What I do is just change the hooks. This is a Berkeley cutter. And I change the factory hooks on all my baits, hard baits, crank baits, you name it. But this is a ST36 round bend. Whenever we're fishing for largemouth or spotted bass lakes, I really like the round bend because they don't really jump in all like smallmouth do. The hookup ratio is real good. And I go to a number four. Uh, factory hooks on this is a number five. I go to a number four. That's a bigger hook. It weights the bait. The bait actually does sink a little bit. But what it does is when you make a long cast and this thing lands tail first, you can let it sink tail first to the level, the depth you want to fish. And the minute you snatch it and get it back vertical, it'll slowly sink horizontally. And that's what you want, especially in cold winter months when you want to get the bait down there. Another thing I do when we go up north is I change, I run ST35s, which is a uh, EWG style hook. I'll put one on the front, one on the back, because smallmouth are notorious for jumping and they're hard to keep on on a hard bait. I'll put a round bend in the middle because it's good at whenever they do jump, that round bend's able to hook them, snag them in the side, or get another hook in them. Uh, but these are basic tips I do. It's really pretty simple. Don't overcomplicate it. And uh, hope you have more success during that.